Inflation is at a 40 year high. Dealing with your monthly budget every week and every month gets more stressful. So I'm coming with you today with a list of budget hacks to help hack inflation and feel more confident when you are taking care of your bills and necessities every single month. Those of you that go grocery shopping, you know, you know some of those things you are shopping for have doubled in price. Housing prices are up, gas prices are up, food prices are up, and all of that affects basically everything else. Restaurant prices, movie prices, concert tickets, travel, you name it. So even though the official documents say 9%, I would guess it's actually quite a bit higher than that. Number one tip is to stop buying meat. I know you don't want to. I am also a meat lover. Now chicken is fairly cheap. Still, there's some sausages you can get that don't cost that much. Ground beef, if you're going like organic free range chicken, fish, they are astronomical in price. Now, if you do want to still purchase the meat, look for sales. And as always, my favorite thing, look for those clearance out prices and stock up when it's cheap. Sodas, juices, Gatorades, sports drinks, coffees, teas. I don't even know what else is out there. Kombucha and some other fun drinks or whatever. The truth is you don't need them to survive. My mom would disagree, but realistically you do not need it to survive. You do need water to survive. Switch your drinks to water. It's shocking when you see how much a 12 pack of soda is. Those coffee K cups. I've done many videos on reverse meal planning or going through the grocery ads seeing what's on sale and then meal planning for the week based on what is inexpensive that week on sale that week using digital coupons or even basing a full meal off of inexpensive ingredients like chicken on the bone or beans and rice sign up for those free programs i am talking about wick if you meet the income guidelines and you are either pregnant or have a child who is five years old or younger they provide you with a lot of high quality food for free. I'll leave that information down below. But in addition to that, usually your community will also have free programs, senior centers, family crisis centers, food pantries that do not require income limits to go and grab it. You can check with your local library, your city, your school district, your sheriff's department. They'll all know about that kind of thing. And of course, don't forget about your local churches. I would recommend that you participate in more free events rather than paid events. I'm talking entertainment specifically. Your town or area or wherever it is that you live, your community will have some free events, things in the park, free concerts. Don't forget about your local library. They'll have craft time, book clubs and if you want to do some paid events like my area has a community theater so they put on theater performances multiple times a year and they're very inexpensive i'm saying less than five dollars a ticket most of the time which is crazy to go see a play for less than five dollars a person oh shoot <laughs> okay one thing you definitely need to stop doing is buying those expensive pink razors that don't even work. Complete and utter garbage. Harry's is the best deal when it comes to quality razors. Their trial package still $3 with my link below. Harry's.com slash FFM first link in the doobly-doo. The blade refill is as low as $2. So if you're looking at a cool way to kick inflation, but still get high quality, then switching to Harry's is the best option. The starter set for $3 includes a five blade German engineered razor, weighted handle, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover, but you will also get a free travel size body wash as well. Redwood body wash, I like this one a lot. Stone in a bar soap, Wildlands, Grove. And let me tell you what, these are not just for men. I use them myself and my daughter does as well. And not only do they work better, they're like a third of the cost. $10 for a stupid pink razor that doesn't work versus $3 for the trial package. Harry's.com slash FFM. First link down below. And the trial deal has never included the body wash before. So if you want to get on this deal with the starter set with the body wash for three bucks, Go down below, use that link. Thank you, Harry's, for sponsoring today's video. And let's get back to more tips. If it has been a while since you have shopped your insurance and bill needs, now's the time to go back over and research those again. Go over your car insurance, go over your homeowner's insurance. A lot of the time we set those things up and then don't look at them for years and years and years. Maybe you have different needs now. Maybe your home value has gone up, 
cars have changed. I was looking at my internet. I do all of my work from home. I use high speed internet for my work, including upload speeds, very important, way more than the download speeds. It wasn't working very well for me, so I called my internet company. He was like, well, I could move you up to this plan, which has like this upgraded download speed, upgraded upload speed, like quadruple what I was getting. It was the same price. <laughs> It was the same price. I could have gone down like, he's like, why are you paying so much? We changed our prices like two years ago. You know, you're gathering all the stuff, you pull some things out and you're like, wait a minute. I literally pulled this out of the dryer two days ago and I know you didn't wear it. If you have children that have taken their clean laundry pile and dumped it straight in the dirty pile because they didn't want to put it away, give me a hands up in the comments, my friends. This tip is to only wash things that are actually dirty. And if you have children, that can be hard to do because they're sneaky little suckers. Eliminating unnecessary trips, combining errands and carpooling can save a ton of money if you don't have to fill up your car with gas as often. So instead of running to the post office and running home and then a few hours later running to the bank and running home and then you need to run to Crumble Cookie and then run home and then you got to run to the library and run home, like plan out your route for one trip. I'm going to run to the dry cleaners, then the bank, then the library, then the cookies, then home, one trip, zoop, zoop, all done. Instead of me driving my son to gymnastics every single day, when there's other people that I know that are going to the same place, let's combine. Maybe I go drop off and they bring back. I do a week, they do a week. It saves me time, hassle, stress, and gas. What about not driving at all? Okay, before you go all crazy, this is only gonna work for some people. So if you have older kids, okay, they can walk, or bike to their activities if it's close enough. This is not for everyone, okay? My son Andrew is riding his bike to work and home. My son Tyler is riding his bike to gymnastics and back. Better for your body, better on the environment, better for my gas bill so I don't have to pay so much to put gas in my car. You remember our friends Billy and Jessica? Yeah. When we had lots of teeny kids, they went out to eat. How often would you say? Way more often than we did. It was it was easy once a week. Yeah, it was ev it was probably every Friday and Saturday night they were going out to eat, and we were so jealous. Yes, because we <laughs> had children everywhere and no money to pay <laughs> babysitters or to pay for food. Yeah, but something interesting that happened is do you remember when he lost his job? They came to our house to hang out and play games. That was a really easy way that they like cut the budget when it was kind of a crisis. He's never gone without a job for very long. It was probably a month that they did that, but they, they cut immediately. Like they stopped going to the grocery store because they used the food storage that they had to feed their family. Yeah. And they stopped date night like this and turned lickety it split. lickety split and turned it into hang out with friends with board games, which sometimes is more fun. Yeah. I love streaming. Do you know how much TV I've watched lately? No. Almost none. Discovery Plus, Acorn TV, Disney Plus. Why are they all pluses? Amazon Video, The Hulus, Amazon Music Unlimited. It's a lot. You could do Spotify. You could do Audible. Jeez, what are all of these? <laughs> you don't need all of them. I've said this before. I love to rotate them. Like you turn on Netflix for a few months, watch your things, turn it off. And then you move over to your Amazon, which I think actually has some great movies. Do you want to watch a 10 hour movie? You'd be like, are you insane? Of course I'm not watching a 10 hour movie. And Netflix is like, well, what if I give you 10 one hour episodes and you can watch them back to back and you're like, sign me up. Ignore this. We have a project going on. Consider going to a one car family. Multiple people need to drive for work. That's not going to work. So this is just like per family basis. But I had a friend who was a one car family. She was a stay at home mom. He worked. So what would happen is she would go grocery shopping with a friend. Like a friend would pick her up once a week and they would go together or she would do her shopping in the evening or on the weekends. What are you spending on gifts? What are you spending on parties, your kid's first birthday party that they won't remember. They don't have to be extravagant to be fun and meaningful. And when it comes to Christmas, like you could do the carnival Christmas. In fact, I have done that before where you just like go overboard. In my case, I found this amazing garage sale where everything was a dollar. But what happened was my kids kind of became numb to opening things and they weren't actually looking at what was in front of them. I learned from that experience that more is not better when it comes to gift giving and parties and things like that. <laughs> Declutter your house, that closet that's like 
falling on you when you open the door. You know what I'm saying? All the clothes, all the shoes, all the kitchen tools. No, don't touch my kitchen tools, just kidding. Your movies, your books, your paper clutter. Get rid of all the stuff. Then you can see what it is that you really have. And then you can look at all of the things that you're getting rid of that used to be money that isn't anymore <laughs> that you ended up not wanting in the end anyway. Delete the Amazon app from your phone. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> what do you think about that? How many times have you not been able to sleep and been like, let me go just go peruse Amazon for a while? Is that what you do? No. What about stop going to Costco? You go in for the dried cantaloupe, one $6 item. And out of nowhere, the cart is full and you've spent $400. Delete the autofill off of your computer. Auto fill your credit card info. Oh. Oh, because you know what I know for a fact is that we as humans are lazy. I am not getting out of that chair and walking to my purse. <laughs> the reason I'm in here is twofold. There's two tips you can do when it comes to clothes. Number one is you can pause your clothes shopping because look at this. Look at it. Look at all of these clothes. Do I need anything new? Clearly, no, I don't. It would take me two weeks minimum to go through all of these clothes that are hanging here right now. When it comes to decluttering, you could take a look at what you have and then sell a few items that you don't need. Okay, this like flowy shirt. I love this shirt, but I've had it for four years now. I don't think I've worn it in 2022 yet. So is it time to let it go because I don't reach for it anymore? Or is it time to put it at the front of my wardrobe and incorporate it more? This tip is for expert users only. Those credit card bonus points can be highly lucrative. I've done videos on credit card churning before. I'll leave those down below for the nitty gritty details. But to sum up, you get a credit card welcoming offer for a high point number, 50,000 to 100,000 points for signing up and spending a low amount in the first few months, maybe $1,000 in the first six months, okay? Wait until the bonus points hit your pocket, redeem for whatever it is that you wanna do, the miles, the gift cards, the cash back, whatever, cancel the card. Yes, this will ding your credit score a little bit, but if you're not buying a car or shopping for insurance or trying to get a loan on a house, who cares? Right now, my son Andrew has a track phone, I think is what it is, or like the little flippy phone from Walmart. I got the phone and three months of limited minutes for right about $65. I love it. It doesn't do anything, it's a little flippy phone. Yeah, he can call. He can call us. And he can text with an old like, like doo -doo 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 -doo. Doo do, 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 do. Another one I've heard a lot of people talk about is Mint Mobile. I wanna know if you have Mint Mobile, let us know down below. Are you loving it? Is the service good? Because people want to know that and I don't personally use it. So I, I think that would be super helpful. Saving $500 a month is amazing, but you can do side hustles to make more money than you can save. I've talked about them. I've done whole videos on side hustles, work from home ideas, things that I've personally done, we've done. Tell me your favorite money saving tip down below. Thanks for joining me today. Check out Harry's if you want to get some great razors at a very, very good price. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Can you do this? Can you do this? Do you ever think it's weird how long my arms are? Swimmer. Like, look at this. You crazy swimmer. I look like a monkey. Better to hug me with. Mm -hmm. Look how long they, like, if I do this, stop it. That looks so weird. <laughs>